Hey there, I've received a question about this problem in the homework and um, I think it's tricky so I will make you a video and hopefully that'll make it make better sense. So the shape of the distribution of time required to get an oil change at 20 minute oil change facility is unknown. However, records indicate that the mean time is 21.4 minutes and the standard deviation is 4.8 minutes. To compute the probabilities regarding the sample mean using the normal model, what size sample would be required? Okay, so just just before I get into this too much, notice that this is 81 number 27. You can see it over here in the right corner. It's showing up as number 6 in this particular homework set, but it could be anywhere. All right, so since we know nothing about the shape of the distribution here, um, they tell us that the shape of the distribution is unknown. Well, if nothing's known, then we're going to need a sample size to be greater than 30, because according to the central limit theorem, you need a, a larger than 30 sample size to make sure it's normal. Cool, I did that right. All right, now, the probability. What is the probability that a random sample of n equals 45 oil changes results in a sample mean time less than 20 minutes? Okay, so let me bring up Excel. Hold on one sec. Okay, and now you don't have to do what I'm about to do, but I want to kind of make it um, understood. So the mean is 21.4. That's essentially saying mu, right? And then they tell us the standard deviation, sigma. And I know I could go find those symbols in the insert symbol menu, but I'm not feeling it. 4.8. Okay, so then what's our sample size? We're looking at a sample size of, which is n, of 45. Okay. Okay, so if that's the case and you're looking at samples rather than looking at individuals, then what's going to happen is you're going to get the standard error, which is sigma divided by the square root of n. That's the formula for it according to the central limit theorem. Okay. So hold on, let me bold these, make them more obvious. Okay, so I'm going to have to find the standard error, which is sigma divided by sqrt n, which is 45 in my case. Cool. That's my new standard deviation. Standard error is the standard deviation of the samples rather than individuals. Okay, so then I need a probability. So I want the probability that um, x is less than 20 minutes. Okay, so well I now know that it's normal because I took a large enough sample size. 45 is larger than 30. So I'm going to be able to use norm yeah, dist. Now, I use norm.dist because I have a newer computer program. Um, if you're running old school, you can use norm.dist right there, that one. Either way. So norm.dist if you're on the newest version or norm.dist, either way. All right, it's going to say, what's your x? Well, x for us was 20. What was your mean? Well, our mean is right up here, 21.4. What's our standard deviation? Well, standard deviation is now this new one, the standard error, which is 0.7155. True. And there we go. It's 0 0.025. How many decimal places? 0 0.0252. And there we go. That's all there is to that. All right, I hope that helps.